My name is Abina Ejewa Yoboa and I'm presenting on SDG 16, Equal Access to a Fair Justice System and Promoting the Rule of Law. Why? Because of lack of access to a fair justice system by victims of human rights abuse, including children, women and men who have been sexually abused, as well as prisoners who have been overcrowded in prisons. Over 11 million people are in prison. Around third of them are in pre-trial detention or awaiting final sentencing. About 120 million girls and young women under 20 years of age have suffered some form of forced sexual contact. One out of two children suffer some form of violence each year. Access to an equal and fair justice system by these victims of violence is very difficult due to corruption in the various human rights institutions and this has led to a compromise of the rule of law which is to ensure that all and sundry have access to an equal justice system which is fair. The judiciary which is the only hope of the unsentenced detainees, prisoners as well as other victims of human rights abuse are being constantly influenced by people of power and of political influence and this has led to lack of independency of the judiciary to effectively carry out their work such as reducing the politicization of sentencing. And this is a contributing factor to a global rise in prison population with US coming first, followed by Thailand, then Brazil. And in Africa, Ghana being 22nd, these are the wicked problems. Global humanitarian measures has been put in place to progressively enable access to an equal and fair justice system. For instance, the Asian Intergovernmental Commission on Human Rights make policies recommendations, while the African, Inter-American and European Court of Human Rights decide on individual complaints. Also, the UN Human Rights Council works on fact findings as well as review state reports. Locally, the Commission of Human Rights and Administrative Justice in Ghana has contributed to the reduction of the percentage of the total prison population from 2001 to 2021. However, there is more room for improvement, as human rights institutions in other developed countries, such as the UK, has resorted to rehabilitation, training and prevention as against prolonged confinement in prison. The COVID-19 pandemic interfered with the delivery of justice by the court system and access to human rights institutions by victims of violence was seriously impacted. This was because contact times, days and hearings of cases were reduced and adjudicated by virtue of the restrictions that came with a pandemic, such as lockdown, and this has led to a rise in backlog of cases. The observation of social distancing and COVID-19 protocol has impacted waiting times and had reduced the number of people that need to be present at the court and the number of cases that ought to be addressed or heard on each sitting. For instance, if the court previously hears about seven cases in a day, it is going to be reduced to three cases in a day due to COVID-19 restrictions and protocols. The spread of COVID-19 in prison has also been alarming due to inmate overpopulation, leading to a lack of opportunity by inmates to observe social distancing. The way forward to mitigate these wicked problems are 1. Accountability the government as well as private actors should be accountable under the law. 2. Just laws. The laws should be clear, publicized, stable and just. They are to be applied evenly and protect fundamental rights including the securities of persons, contract and property rights and certain core human rights. 3. Open government. The process by which the laws are enacted, administered and enforced should be accessible, fair and efficient.
Four, accessible and impartial dispute resolution. Justice should be delivered timely by competent, ethical and independent representatives and neutrals who are accessible, have adequate resources and reflect the makeup of the communities they serve. Finally, there should be a public awareness of the people's human rights, the rule of law and the exposure of all briberies and corruptions.